Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're true. I'm Dara, real estate investor, entrepreneur, and consultant out of Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm coming to you guys with a very quick video about one of the ways to vet a cash buyer. So if you've ever heard someone say, oh, as a wholesaler, it's very important for you to get the proof of funds from your cash buyers. Get the proof of funds, get the proof of funds. Well, hey, listen, I'm guilty. I do have a video um, stating that it's very important to ask your cash buyers for proof of funds. But update, what I've realized is that proof of funds don't necessarily give you proof of funds. Like proof of funds these days are like coupons. Anyone can get them. You get a proof of funds. You get a proof of funds. You get a proof of funds. And it doesn't really, sometimes they're fake. And even if you do come across somebody who can actually show you their bank account, their bank statement, or if the proof of funds is actual and legitimate, that does not mean just because they have the money that they're going to be an actual cash buyer. They could be a window shopper. They could be a tire kicker. Just because they got money in the bank, that doesn't mean that they'll actually pull the trigger with you on the deals that you present to them. So just wanted to let you know that, give you an update, that get, getting proof of funds for some, from somebody is not really dire. Um, I think what you should do instead, if you want to actually vet a cash buyer and qualify them, verify that they're actual, actually able to pull the trigger and work with you, go meet them at a project. Say, hey, you know, um, do you have any recent projects or current projects that you're working on? I'd love to come and see it. And then do a little digging, do a little homework to make sure that, okay, it is actually, they're not just taking you to their friend's house that, you know, or their mentor's house and they're shadowing their mentor or whatever. So make sure you can actually verify that they are the ones who, or their entity owns the property or actually funded the deal or whatever the case is because proof of funds is just a piece of paper at this point and it's not always legitimate. So I hope that this quick video and this quick little tip helped you and now you know that there's other ways and better ways to verify the legitimacy of a cash buyer. So thanks guys for watching. If you like this t-shirt that I'm rocking, my real estate periodic table t-shirt, go ahead and look down in the description box below on how you can order yours as well. Down there, you can also find contracts, you can order leads, and a whole bunch of other things too. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Be sure to like this video if you found it valuable. Comment below some other topics that you might want me to cover. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.